Okay, so, well, not really much of a vlog going on today. But, uh, we got to talk about what's next with this carbon fiber Kevlar board. I know it got put on hold and a lot of years have been waiting for me. I apologize. You know, we, we had to get done here. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Now, I got this little work area. I got my little uh, studio right behind the work area so I can do some filming. It makes things a whole heck of a lot easier. You guys want to see what's on the bench? A little sneak peek. Come on. Alright. Alright, let's open up the drawer. Phew. What a mess already. I did not mean this. But, look, we got shrink wrap. Shoot, we got make tech vests. Yeah, there's two of them here somewhere. Uh, 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 we got BMS's. 45 amp. Here's a 30 amp here. We got uh, inline amp meters. Yeah. I'm building something for this. Oh, oh, you can use either plug. I'm going to do that. Two different styles of plugs. Um, well, probably not going to use these on an electric skateboard, but JST connectors. Uh, I think they're two and a half, two and a half four pin. Yeah, because this is, I think they're 1.25 and this is two and a half. I don't freaking know. <sighs> Cheese grater, that's important in working with the skateboard. Oh, this is some of my favorite stuff here. B7000 cell phone glue. Works great though if you're uh, mocking up with foam. This is the stuff, definitely. Look, we got an Evolve manual. <laughs> Bob seems to be doing well. I believe they addressed all their issues so far. I mean, there's complaints coming out of the woodwork, but I can almost guarantee a lot of these guys got their board around the same time I did. It is what it is. We're going to go through the bomb. I'm going to show you. As I told you, you're never going to believe it. Oh, oh, there's that controller. We'll put this down here too. Right next to the VESCs. This is going to go on the uh, Genesis hybrid board. We got uh, plenty of batteries. Oop, I got like 50 of them LG HE4s. And then these stupid things. I don't know if I'll ever use them. Maybe on one of the builds. And then the battery cappers. Tools. There's the RPM gauge. Oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, look at that Maytech motor. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that Maytech motor. That's a big puppy. That's a, what I call a size 6. Evolve's got a size 5, that's a size 6. Hub motors work in the same way. Look, here's some good stuff. Liquid tape. I know you guys are going to ask me at some point, because this is what I use on my electronics, liquid tape. It won't fail like regular tape. You know, regular tape, when it gets old, it comes off liquid tape. Now I could use shrink wrap and all, but look. This covers it. It provides a nice barrier between the wires. Perfect. Liquid tape. Look, I got the all-terrain wheels for the Evolve. You know what? The Evolve worked the best with the all-terrain wheels, without a doubt. That's those Genesis motors. I got all sorts of wheels. I got brand new wheels, 97 millimeter. These are those knockoffs. Yeah, I use them. I use them with the Evolve, and I use them with the Evolve cogs. I'm going to make a video about how I did it, because here's the wheel here, brand new, and there's the Evolve cogs. But, there's the same wheel, and there's an Evolve cog. What? Hold on, what? 
Huh? Huh? What happened? Ooh, that looks different. As you can see, I hacked the wheels up. I chased them with a drill to make the openings bigger to fit these evolved cogs. So, I'll make a video on that. Oh, and spare belts. I got all sorts of brand new spare belts. Where do we go? V belt supply. There you go. VBeltSupply.com. Order a line or call toll free. Now, if you're going to order Maytech and you need belts to fit the Maytech product, their belts aren't expensive. Y you get the Maytech ones. If you have an Evolve, don't order from Evolve. Come on now. Evolve doesn't want that business. VBeltSupply.com wants your business. Trust me. Believe me. That's how it is. Oh, and last but not least, the vacuum machine. Boop, boop, boop. Need this. Need this to do some air bagging. I got some sort of set. What do I have on here right now? Look at that goofy setup. I don't know. That needs to come off. So we're going to do some real work. I was doing mini work with that. We're going to do some real work. And then the roll of grip tape. You got to have the roll of grip tape. Never know when you need grip tape, right? Look at that thing. You can get this roll for like 30 bucks. People buy one sheet that does their skateboard for 10 bucks. You know how many sheets you can get out of that? For 30? Huh? More than three. Look, this, and that, this, that. More than three. I'll tell you that right now. What's in here? Look, we got new trucks. These trucks are cheap. These are from Ellers, just like the grip tape. Skateshred.com. Skateshred.com. Oh, in case you forget. Skateshred.com. This is where you get that shit at. Look, now I'm telling you to go there. I told you this was $30. If this was more than $30, bucks, you are going to shoot me, aren't you? Uh, what else? Oh. I go to a hardware store. I always buy hardware I think I might need. Hardware I might not even need. Set screws and just in case. I like having it. Young Evolve owners. If you order anything from their webpage, at the same exact time, order yourself a screw kit. Trust me. New screws, new bolts, whatever it is, it's definitely a must. That's, that's something you want to keep up with. The last thing you want to do is strip out a screw that you got to tap out with a chisel or you got to cut out, you got to grind out. You don't want to do that. Get the screw kit. It's like 10 bucks, I think. Alright, so let's talk about this skateboard now. Let's talk. This, this is a vlogging skateboard. I, I didn't get to do much camera work today. I'm telling you, I was busy. And uh, it's pretty late right now at night. And I got to edit this still. And I still have stuff to do. <laughs> oh, can I get some sleep? I just want to go to bed. You ever get that feeling? I just want to go to sleep. Honestly. That's what I want to go do right now. Instead of editing this video, I just want to go to bed. Alright. But we're going to talk about this skateboard. Because I know you guys have been waiting and I promised. And... I made all sorts of promises. I got a list a mile long of things I have to talk about and videos I have to make. You guys are holding me to it too because you keep talking to me about all these different things that you haven't seen me do yet. Alright, come on. Let's finish this up. Carbon fiber Kevlar skateboard. Well, here we are picking it back up. We got the board all shaped out. It's all pretty much ready to go. You would think now we're going to lay the carbon fiber Kevlar, but no. 
you have to mock it up. This is one of the most important parts in the whole entire project here. Mocking it up. Because if not, you know what's going to happen? Your skateboard's going to go sideways down the street. Because you're going to lay that carbon fiber Kevlar. You're going to think everything looks great. You're going to drill your holes, put your wheels on. And then you're going to realize the skateboard's going sideways down the street. So what you need to do is you need to mock it up. You take your Maytec trucks you just got. Right? Put them under the board. Now what you want to see is how do these trucks sit? Position them where you want them. The rear Maytec truck's going to have a natural sitting position. They balanced it out. So when it's actually sitting upright like this, it's going to stay flat. See? Now the board's not flat. You can tell there's a little arc in it. And you know what? With the carbon fiber Kevlar, once you lay that, you're going you're gonna to get a rock solid brick. So that's going to make the world of a difference right there. You're going to have that gap, which means when you tighten that down, there's going to be excessive pressure. And you don't want that. So we're going to have to take care of that. Other than that, the back doesn't look too, too bad. It's sitting pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Don't forget your ABEC 9 bearings. See these? I pay 30 cents a piece for these, no spacer off of eBay. ABEC 9, they work great. I hate to say it, I took the Maytec bearings out and replaced them with those. I put the Maytec bearings aside, it's not that they're no good. I just prefer those. That's all. Okay, now let's position this where we want it. And the same thing with the front truck. The front truck, when it's sitting down like that, it's going to want to sit flat. They balanced it out. So when, when the weight's on this board, which theoretically should be flat and plain, right? Everything is balanced. There's no there's no extra stress on these joints. See this here? I don't have it bolted down. See how nice that is? Sits sits pretty damn good right now, huh? Front doesn't look bad. I actually just straightened the front out. So the front should look pretty damn good. It should look close. I kind of wanted to have a little, little flip up on the end. And I kind of wanted to have mine longer than what the Evolve is. Check out the Evolve. See how short it is? It stops right there. I want mine a little bit longer because I want to be able to use the end to kick it up to grab it. That's all. Alright, so you got your Maytech trucks, your rear hub motor, your front truck. You could use two front trucks right now. You know, you could use whatever you have. You got to make sure you mock it up. You got to make sure everything's sitting flat. I don't drill the holes yet. I'm going to wait. Now, I have... Let's see, uh, that's going to be the hole for the charge port, and that's going to be the hole for the uh, on-off button. I have to put one more hole in for the wires. So this is actually backwards right now. I see I labeled it front back. And then, I could finish this off, I don't know. I really don't need to. It's going to be the battery compartment. Really, this is really, 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 really thin layer of foam. There's really not much foam left at all. Just kind of used it as a guide for making this battery chamber. And I still need to make a lid. I was actually thinking about making one complete lid that goes over the top. So you screw it all down. And then all the edges will be sealed. Well, Just like the Vobs lid. I, I have that same stuff to put underneath it. And that will seal everything. I was thinking about making one huge big piece lid. I mean, that's going to add a lot of weight to it. You know what I mean? Maybe one big lid in here. That's more like it. 
maybe one big lid in here, which means I'm going to have to make some sort of mold or something. I'm going to probably have to pack this with clay, smooth it out, make the surface that I want to make. Because see how I have this here? This is for grip when picking it up. That's all this is. It's, it's an extra, like, it's to place your hand here. But I like to have a little bit of contour in it. I'm not sure what kind yet. I'd have to put the clay down and figure it out. All right, so that's where I'm at with the DIY carbon fiber electric skateboard. You guys going to have to stay tuned. See what's coming next. I know some of you has wanted to build it and you've been waiting on me and waiting and waiting. That's freaking awesome. You've been patient. And there's a couple guys that already built theirs. Beat me to the punch. And theirs looks awesome. Totally awesome. So if you guys are still looking for Maytech uh, motors, even if you just need the truck, let me know. We can make that happen. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Alright, so remember, mock it up. Make sure everything's rolling good, looks good. This is how you want it. This is very important before you lay that carbon fiber Kevlar. You're not going to have much choice. Alright, guys. Well, that's all I got for today. I had to make sure I got something up for you. Um, I guess we'll make that part of my vlog, huh? Is that right? <laughs>